So everything that we've purchased, uh, I, most of it I've purchased from Amazon, uh, like this regulator and whatnot. I believe Sam's got links for all these devices or, or hoses that we used, and uh, some of them will be affiliate links, so we'll get a commission off of the sale of that product. There'll be an order from the propane tank to the T, and then to the regulator, and then from there on out. So you'll be able to kind of visualize what you'll need and, and, and whatnot. Uh, this is a spare regulator. When it comes to being warm at night, I like to keep anything that's going to fail or could fail. I like to keep a, an extra. So a uh, regulator is definitely something that can get finicky, so I have a spare one. So let's kind of go over it. What a regulator is, is just that. It regulates the pressure or the flow of propane into your system. This is the same regulator that's on the scamp right now. And it's this, the regulator that came with the scamp. So you have a high pressure side or an inlet and a low pressure side or an outlet. And what you find is on your like Coleman stoves, things like that, it already has a regulator. So it needs the high pressure side. So if you, you run it through two regulators, it's not gonna work. Uh, so if you look back here, I have the regulator installed and I have the low pressure side on this, on this side. It goes right inside to the heater. This side is the high pressure side, and that's where I've teed off. So if you see there, I've teed off and I've got one going to the stove outside and one goes to the propane tank. So this hose right here is from the propane tank. One goes into the regulator to go inside and the other one goes out to the stove. So if we are using the factory uh, regulator, we come off the, the outlet or the low pressure side, and that's this hose here, and that goes directly into the scamp. So this was already there whenever we got the scamp. Something else to note is on the high pressure side, we're using quarter inch NPT, and on the low pressure side, we're using 3 8 NPT, so it's slightly bigger than this side. This is the 12 inch pigtail, and then that goes into the, the hose. I think on the list, it's gonna be a quarter inch female NPT to a quarter inch male NPT. And that'll go into your T. And then the T will uh, go into the regulator, which goes into the rest of the camper. And then the other side will be the high pressure side for this hose here. So this hose and this hose, they're, they're actually the same hose. There's, uh, if you look at the list, there's times two. So you're gonna have that quarter inch hose that's gonna go from that T. And this will be a, on this end will end up being a female NPT. You actually need a male, so you'll have to put a nipple in there to connect that quick connect. The only reason I don't have that here is because I couldn't find a male to male quarter inch hose. No big deal. And then from there, you'll go with that quick connect. That will go into the, the 12 foot hose that goes to the, the back of the scam. So up here, we've got the connector. I guess I can unscrew it just to show you. This is the, the connector that goes to a standard one pound fitting. And then that goes into the filter that I purchased. And the reason that I got the filter is these hoses actually break down over time. It'll let like flakes of the, the hose and other impurities that are just in the tank will end up getting and hitting this regulator. So before we got the filter, we could tell there were some impurities that were, were being burned. So the regulator was getting stuck and it was letting uh, the high pressure liquid propane come into this pipe. So it would actually get this pipe, it would freeze and then the flame would turn weird colors. And But ever since we got that filter, we haven't had that issue. So. I don't know. Uh, it may be an erroneous correlation, but that's the correlation I'm going with right now. So that's why we've got the filter. I would recommend getting the filter. It just, oh my God. <laughs> Man, I need a haircut. So at the end of this video, we'll put a uh, quick screenshot up of just an illustration of where all the hoses go and the fittings and the, the teeth uh, and whatnot. And the products will be in the description to show you guys kind of where each of the products go.